Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, guys, and welcome back to part two of our Benelli on an off-road adventure. Today we pick up where we left off in the last episode, episode one, at Bridgewater on Loddon. Then we make our way across some more country roads, taking a few scenic little country towns before we take the Big B on its big test up a four-wheel drive track on a very treacherous little mountain trail. So you don't want to miss that one. And I may or may not get the bike up there. You're just gonna to have to watch it and see. So I hope you enjoy the video, guys. If you do, please hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you out there. Thanks for watching. Oh, something back there that I thought was quite interesting. You'll see in a minute. I was just passing by and I thought, I'd better come back and take a bit of a video of this. Big Australian flag at the front of the old colonial house. You don't get a much more Australian picture than that. It is truly iconic. It's just about to leave. <laughs> and I saw this across the road. Now is that a letterbox or what? Well, anyway, the day is getting away somewhat, so we shall push on. Just coming into Tarnagala now, in the heart of the Golden Triangle, it says on the sign there, which is true. Another famous old gold mining town from back in the day. Not a huge population here nowadays, but getting more popular now as uh, people want to do the tree change so to speak and there's plenty of trees around here that's for sure anyway we'll go for a little drive around town it won't take long you guys can have a bit of a look all right guys a bit of a trip down the main street of Tarnagulla for your viewing <laughs> excuse me a bit cold for your viewing pleasure still quite a few historic buildings here on the main street old cottage there, would have been a shop once I would imagine back in the day new police building Victoria Theatre, Victoria Hotel wow I bet you they were rocking places back in the day have a look at this old joint where 77 Commercial Road, wow I wonder if it's still used for anything jeez the back of it looks like it's fallen down much here as you can see but the old hotel here Golden Age Hotel it's called I believe that's still operational I think you can still go in there and get a beer and a meal as I said earlier it is quite popular with the tree changes now it wasn't that long ago only a couple of years ago you could buy a block of land here or a, an existing house for Oh gee, under $150,000 Australian. Nowadays, no way known. We're looking probably at least $100,000 more than that. Quite easily, it's become a really popular little area. Poverty Street, good name for an old gold mining town street, isn't it? There's probably quite a few people that, uh, from back in the mining days, that. That would have been a reality for them. Poverty. All this area through here. It's all the old diggings. It's the old original creek going through the town there. Now we'll go down this little back lane here. Because I know this goes into the back of the, the local park. So you're getting a full tour today guys. I hope you're enjoying this. But the mighty metropolis of Tarnagulla. There you go. 
there's a Tana Gullah Park. I think I was telling you in an earlier video that I once held a two and a half kilogram gold nugget in my hands that came from around this area. And it was right in that park where I held it. Actually, we had a meeting of a gold fossickers club and a couple of local miners brought it in to a bit of a show and tell. And yeah, it was quite a quite popular exhibit, you could say. Unfortunately, there were a few policemen on duty that day to make sure none of us ran off with it. <laughs> I think they would have liked to run off with it themselves, actually, but anyway. All right, next destination, hopefully, is Mount Molaigal. destination up there guys, our mountain, Mount Beligal, and we're going to attack it from down that ridge line, if I remember rightly. If you're wondering how to spell Beligal, there it is there. We won't be going into the thriving metropolis of Beligal today, because uh, it's getting a bit late, and probably only got a couple of hours of daylight left. Look out. As predicted, the last turnoff was the wrong one, and going by how steep this one is, this will be it, I reckon. All right, this is going to be a bit of a test for the Turan's tyres, that's for sure. It's pretty slippery looking. Well, here we go. Wish me luck. By the way, guys, if you do happen to spot anything that looks shiny and yellow in the ground, let me know and I'll come back and dig it up. Or pick it up. Whatever the case may be. Because we know where that might be. So keep your eyes peeled. I'll give you half, I promise. section here. Shouldn't be an issue though for the big Benelli. Uh, did it easy as predicted. Go up this side, looks a bit smoother. It's like a tractor, let's see. Doing it easy. It's a lot steeper than it looks in the video too, guys. By the way, 
the gear. See if I can pull that. Yeah, no problem. be doing this on a rainy day that's for sure the stand up pretty rocky pull over for a sec have a look at that view wow that is just incredible land as far as you can see amazing no matter how many times I get out on the bike in the bush I never get tired of seeing that view it's a beautiful country going by the big sphere on the stand this is the highest point to be quite honest that wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be maybe I've just got to be a better rider since last time I was up here and it was on that bike too by the way so yeah there you go but uh, the telecommunications tower there Someone's had a fire here. Wouldn't that have been lovely up here? Having a fire here, watching the sun go down across these beautiful hills, this beautiful landscape. A few beverages of your, your choice, of course. I'm sure there'd be a bit of wildlife around here. Oh, it'd be just magnificent. Just look at that view. Guys, this is what adventure riding is all about. Being able to get up to places like this, and just appreciate the natural beauty of Australia. Wow.
There's a wedge-tailed eagle right above me and it's checking out the drone. The drone is off to the right. The eagle's been circling around and I've actually had to pull the drone down because it really looked like the eagle was going to actually attack it. So it's heading off in the other direction now. It sort of must have seen me and lost interest, but yeah. Gee, they're big too. They're probably about five or six feet across the wingspan. Right, as the sun is sinking rapidly into the horizon, it's time to head off to... Well, it's time to head home, actually. <laughs> I'm heading off to any more destinations today, unfortunately. But we're going to go that way. I think there's another track that goes down the other side of this mountain. I haven't been down there before, but we'll go and check it out. And, uh, well, worst case scenario, I'll just come back this way. All right, home time. Let's do it. Miss the rocks, that'll be good. Ah, yep, there it is. Oh, crikey, it looks like worse than the one I came up on the other way. Or maybe it's just here. Oh, Shank, not too bad. <laughs> Did I speak too soon when I said that the track was easier than I thought it was? That's what we just came down guys. Sometimes going down a hill is a lot harder than going up it. In this case it certainly is so far. And it's not getting any better is it? All the rocks and ruts. And it is loose too. Still a great view though. Unfortunately, I won't be looking at much of it while I'm riding down this. Here we go. This is gonna to be tough actually. It looks quite technical. Downhills with a heavy bike are probably the worst thing for soft some soft front suspension because they do tend to bottom out a bit easier to be quite honest it's soaking up everything pretty easy so far I'm actually not going very fast but I'd be silly if I went any quicker I'll be honest I think it uh, The ground's quite unstable, and still wet, and slippery. I don't even know where this goes. I've never been this way in my life. It's only my second ever time up in this area. Oh geez, I'll tell you what. I can feel the ABS brakes pulsating under me right foot as I hit the back brake so it's working I'll just 
follow these ruts down, I think. Yeah, a little shack over on the hill over there in the distance. Isn't it strange? Maybe it's a toilet. The way this is going, I might need one soon. If <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, there's a slippery little bit. The water run down the track. <laughs> I hope I don't have to come back up this because it's not going to be easy. <laughs> it's hard enough going down it. Obviously with a GoPro you can't tell how steep this is, but I'll give you a heads up. There's no way you'd be able to do this in a conventional two-wheel drive car. Uh, an all-wheel drive car that had normal ground clearance, you wouldn't do it. You'd be bottoming it out, you'd ruin the, fr you'd ruin the bottom of your car. So, gives you a bit of an idea how rough it is and how steep it is. I've got to love this ABS, it's working great. Looks like it's coming to a T intersection down here. All right. Left or right, guys. Ah, oh, that's a private property over there where I saw that little hut on the hill that looks like an outhouse, which is a toilet. It's what we call a toilet here in Australia. Well, some people do. Bit of an old statement, that one. All right, so we decided on right, did we? Yep. So I thought I thought you said that. Well, if there's a sign on this that indicates a bendy road, then that means the road is passable, one would think. A lot of water running down off the hills, I can see. Oh geez, that's pretty slippery looking. Well that's all mud. <laughs> uh oh. Ah. Oh, I feel a back tire spinning. I don't really care too much what the back tire does as long as it keeps traction. It's a front I worry about. Be very careful not to hit the brakes when going through that slippery stuff. Try and just even let the bike self steer if I have to. Within reason. So how are we going guys? You seen any nuggets yet? Are we going to be rich? Let me know in the comments below. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed, it'd be really good if you would. Okay, whose idea was it to turn right? We've got a dead end. Private property, no doubt. All right, back to where we turned right from, which was coming from down there. So guys, it was at this point that I had a wave of confidence and I thought, oh look, why not have a go at it today? Let's go back up that four wheel drive track and just see how far I get do a little bit of filming with the drone and get some more nice pictures of the bike as well. As you can see from the pictures, the bike did pretty well on about the first half of the climb. I was even able to stop on a couple of occasions, put the drone up and then be able to start again from a standing start, which was great. But as the terrain got worse, the track got steeper, the ruts got deeper and the rocks got bigger, that's when I really started to have some problems. I got just past this point here and that's when I found the limit of the standard tyres on the big Benelli. They just weren't able to keep traction on the steeper part of the tracks where the rocks were a bit bigger, a lot looser. There was grass growing across the track which was quite slippery. So I thought probably better off and safer just to try again another day. All right guys, I'm gonna have to admit defeat on this occasion. I was just setting up the drone for a few shots up the really steep, rocky, gnarly four-wheel drive track and unfortunately it is way too slippery. There's still water running off the top of the hill. You might have just seen me going over some water then. And there's patches of grass like all over the, the middle of the track and the tyres are just not getting any traction. Back tyre is pretty bad. And the rocks are really, really loose. And look, to be honest, I reckon I would struggle on that with my SWM RS500. Uh, I'd get up it, I don't doubt that, because it's got good knobby tyres and it handles great. An excellent suspension. But I think if this had trials tyres on it, at the very least, it'd, it'd, I reckon it'd do it. I reckon it'd do it. But not 
with it being that wet because this bike is a heavy piece of uh, machinery and it's not really designed to be doing that sort of work at all but uh, I will be back when it dries out and I promise you I'm going to do it as it was I got about a third of the way up there and then I found that I got to a really steep bit that was really rutted out badly and I thought if I come off here if I drop the bike here then I'm going to cause some serious damage to the motorcycle it scrapes, dents, all that sort of stuff and I thought it's really not worth it I'll come back and I wasn't confident and that's the main thing too I think sometimes you've got to be confident and if you're not feeling it well yeah it's probably a pretty good indication you should come back and try it another time or <laughs> perhaps not at all Well, we might as well go home through the dirt. Much more fun. Oh, that looks interesting. We can go down that way. Hold on. And more mud. Okay, that one's a bit uh, slipperier. Ooh, hoo, hoo. slip sliding away. That was a hit song once, Slip Sliding Away. I think it might have been Max Merritt and the Meteors. I'll tell you what guys, the more I ride this in the bush, the more I'm getting used to it. I'm actually pushing it a lot faster now than I would, I would have been a when I first got it, that's for sure. It's a really capable little machine, this thing. Well, little's probably not the right word for it. <laughs> but, you know what I mean. Okay, I've just come all this way, and it's a dead end private property. So I suppose I can go up this way. Gonna have to, otherwise I'm gonna go all that way back <laughs> the way I came. I'll see where it goes, eh? What did I say about not doing any hill climbs today? Nah, it's not that hard. Oh. Aha! I see a bitumen road. Ho, ho, ho. We're out of here, baby. I don't think that's used very often, that track. Considering there's not one single wheel mark on it. Apart from mine now, of course. Oh. vehicles next two kilometers. That is the only time I have ever seen that sign in Australia. Gee, this is a comfortable bike to cruise on. It really is. It's such a pleasure to ride and just enjoy the road, the scenery. That's what it's all about. Oh, poor bird there. I'm going to go back and pick it up, actually. Oh, if I can, turn around here. He's going to get run over. He's in the middle of the road, and I'm not sure if it's a young one or it's been already been hit by a car. Yeah, see there, it's its uh, parent coming out to try and get it off the road. Look, see what I'm saying? All right, let's see if we can. Uh, there's no one behind me. Right, oh, Junior, you need to get off the road before you get run over. All right, where's Mum and Dad? There's mum and dad up in the tree up there. Come on, what are you done? Come on, little fella. Come on, up you come. Yeah, I know. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Right, 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 right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say hello to our viewers. Hello, viewers. I'm Squawky. I'm a silly little bird, aren't I? Nice, playing in the middle of the road. You go back to your parents, okay? Oh, he's all right. Nothing wrong with him. All right, back on board the Big B, homeward bound.
Yeah, he would have been, he would have been roadkill. Not too much longer, I'm showing if he stayed where he was. Just had to come this way home, didn't I? <laughs> McIntyre. Little regional area. A few houses, a few farms, but that's about it. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. Take care, ride safely, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.